merch, man. It's just merch. It's just merch. Ah, it's just merch. Guys, this merch is so good, it should be illegal. Go shop at BigBearWeatherAndMore.com to get yours. What is up, everybody? It is March 7th, 2024 in beautiful Big Bear Lake. This is the aftermath. And we're getting a few sleep pellets coming down. So it's not necessarily much of an aftermath, but <laughs> because it's still going a little bit. But this is kind of just a rare little thing happening right now. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you enjoy the aftermath. We are gonna cruise cruise around town. Look at this sleet coming down. This is crazy. Or some people will say grapple. Grapple, it's the grapple coming down. So we're gonna kind of go into Big Bear City a little bit, come back around and do our beautiful lake journey. We went skiing today. It was my best day by far, you guys. I was I was going pretty darn good and we'll be uploading that in a couple days. Hope you guys enjoyed the, the new promo. Uh, <laughs> these things are just awesome. I'm so, I'm so proud of where this channel's going, you guys. It's so cool. But yeah, look at this sleet. Look at that. And there's just nothing above us. How cool is that? Anyway, if you guys want to help support this amazing channel, please go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com and get yourself some top quality merch. Um, as you saw in the beginning, it's it's almost illegal to look this good, you know, so don't forget that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited, guys. I'm excited. Go to BigBearWeatherMore.com, support us. And there's other ways you can support us as well. In the description of the video, there are other methods to help a, your brother out. But right now we're on Sugarloaf Boulevard. It's kind of known as one of the back streets to get around all the traffic on the boulevard. We don't necessarily need it, but we're taking it right now. And then as I said, we're gonna cut back across the boulevard and head over to North Shore and take that route around the beautiful lake and see what happened over by the dam. Since it wasn't that much snow on this side of town, we're probably not gonna do much of a video over here. But where I'm going right now is literally where 90 plus percent of you guys come and hang out. So this is where you all go. Anyway, we're gonna turn left here on Pine View. Oh yeah. We're back at the boulevard. <clears throat> Cars is flying. And we're pulling out to get going. Man, wait till you guys see the skiing video. I'm telling you, it was incredible. And because I had the nerve to go up to the top of Bear today, I forgot how incredible those views are. There's just nothing, nothing like it up here. I was so mesmerized, I, 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 I almost couldn't even go down. It was just too wonderful. So yeah, we're gonna cut across here on Division Road to get to North Shore. And then we're gonna head into the Fonskin area and come into town the same way that most of you come into town. stormy over by the dam. But yeah, we'll definitely be coming into more snow the closer we get to the Big Bear Dam, so don't, don't be too worried, you guys. I usually like to start off the aftermath video with less snow so we can actually get to the more snow. Eventually. Eventually. 
we'll get some more snow. Da, 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 da. That's where I was up there today, at the very top. We're still getting some of that grapple right now. It's so cool, guys. It is so cool. My car it says 41 degrees that feels about right it certainly feels about right we're up here now at Stanfield cutoff as I said we're gonna be going straight to head into Fonskin again when we get decent snow and both sides of town have snow that's when we'll definitely all usually do the aftermath through the whole entire valley but that's not necessary today because there's, you're not really going to see much on that other side. pass that's what you usually want to do when you got this faster traffic behind you I'm gonna kind of cut down this route real quick this is North Shore Lane this takes you next to uh, our most popular camping area. I don't know why my brain is a fog right now, but let's see here. It's on the right hand side and I think they've got spots on the left. Yeah, they have spots on the left as well. Yeah, it's called the Serrano Campground. This whole area back here. And it's huge guys, it's huge. And we've got a really nice mobile home park right, right over here. It's right on the lake, just beautiful. Beautiful clubhouse. 
but over here is where it's at for all you campers. All you campers. Coming up to the Solar Observatory. Since there's no one behind us, we'll creep up on it really slowly. Here it comes. I've, I've been lucky enough to get a private tour here. Or wait, I thought that was it right there. Yeah, oh, here it is. Here it is. It's up here a little bit. Down this path right here. Beautiful. I know you barely saw it, but there it was. I do have a video of the Solar Observatory tour, you guys, so you can find it on, on the channel pretty easily by typing in uh, Big Bear Solar Observatory when you're on the channel itself. Don't forget, for you skiers and snowboarders, you need to get up here sooner than later. If you need your rentals, go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. I have all their information in the description of the videos. Um, I promise you guys, I would not refer you to anybody but the best. These guys have the best prices, the most knowledgeable staff, the nicest staff. And uh, if you mentioned that I sent you, they will take care of you. Um, also, if you bring in your own equipment, you guys, I keep on telling you guys, they, if you bring in your own skis and snowboards, they will wax your stuff for free, okay? They will wax it for free. That's a pretty good value right there. So do yourselves a favor, go take advantage of that. You gotta once again mention you're a friend of the channel and they will hook you up. Wow. Gosh, it'd be nice to have one of those houses right there on the lake. about to come into downtown Fonskin.
there's the Moose Lodge. Oh, it smells good over here. Someone's cooking something yummy. Alright, we're coming up to Grout Creek. Got a nice little view of Grout Creek behind us. Oh, it's so beautiful. Then don't forget guys, for hotels on the fawn skin side, you're not gonna find this place on Expedia or anything like that. It's it's right, it's here on the left, it's called the Outpost Big Bear. You have to go to their website, theoutpostbigbear.com and book a room here. It's right on Grout Creek Tributary. It's a great, great spot. Oh yeah, I'm, yeah guys. The place just seems and, and looks great. All the research I have done, I'm excited to eventually stay there. Again, I would have stayed there already, but it's not on my Expedia or Hotels.com or anything like that, so. Give them a shot for hotels, you guys. And then also, don't forget, in the description of the video, we've got um, our channel's Air Airbnb there, too, right next to Bear Mountain in a very snowy part of town. If you have any questions about it, hit me up or click on the link in the description. It says our channel's Airbnb. That is the header for it. And you'll find the link in there. Oh, it's just gorgeous out here, guys. Look at, I mean, it's just incredibly beautiful out here. house is literally right on the lake just amazing Remember again, I'm doing this particular drive again because this is where 90 plus percent of you are going to be traveling on part of this route. At least 90% of you. The other side of town has no snow. It's just crazy. Clearly there's not much here, but it's because this part of town gets a lot of direct sunlight. But it does snow a good amount right over here. snow on that side of the lake, huh? A lot more. Epic. Just epic.
there's a lot of snow over there. Holy moly. side of the dam and start heading down that side you're, you're gonna see significantly more snow guys it's really amazing how just a short little distance makes a huge difference all right we're at the dam the beautiful big bear dam like it a lot. No chains required. Well, that's good. Let's see here. off like a turd of hurdles. Driving over the dam right now. Driving over the dam dam. Driving over the John claude Van Dam. Careful of these potholes, y'all. Again, they did fix a bunch of them, but there's still quite a few to go. But thank you, city and state, for taking care of that for you guys. sky in the background just is marvelous simply marvelous yes I tell you simply marvelous temperatures 38 degrees If I remember, there's a few potholes coming up here on the right, so we got to be extra cautious. Extra cautious. Yep, here they are. There's a few more. <laughs> no 
we'll get to them. up here and then here's another get boards for summertime they have kayaks and paddle boards and all that good stuff right there bus up here does he have his stop sign on because we do not want to go by a school bus with a stop sign on just so you guys know the skiing was epic the snow was perfect it was beautiful the best snow all season it was a little bit of a colder storm compared to what we've had. So I'm telling you guys right now, especially early, the snow was epic. And there was a lot of it too. Alpine slide at Magic Mountain. You can pay to go sledding here and go on the roller coaster and just have a fun day, guys. Just a fun day. to the village and this guy is pulling a not so good driving move <laughs> that's I always tell you guys when I drive through here these two hotels I have them both on my playlist called lodging 
This hotel on the left, I stayed in their, their biggest room they have. It's uh, called The Lodge at Big Bear Lake. And then this one over here is my favorite of the nice hotels up here. It's called The Club at Big Bear Village. It's a blue-green resorts. Epic, and it's right here in the village, you guys. So if you guys want to stay really close to the village in a hotel, that's where you go. If it's the Airbnb thing, trust me, you guys want to check out our Air Airbnb on the channel. Again, it's in the description of the video. Of every video, actually. Okay. Starting to get some more grapple right now. Some more sleep. That's just so weird. Our skies are blue. I see trees so green. Red rose Okay. Well, that's interesting. We're ending the video basically with some sleet coming down. But that's cool. It's 40 degrees. We've got the sleet. Thank you guys for cruising. I appreciate it. Again, I hope you enjoyed that that new promo. It's pretty awesome. I'm, I'm so proud of it. I can't believe how fast Jay got it put together. He is so intelligent, you guys. He is so smart. But he's an aerospace engineer. He's 27 years old. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's just amazing. So I'm, uh, I'm super proud to have that dude in my life. But yeah, hit the like and subscribe button, guys. Share the videos. Help me grow this thing. I've been doing this for nine years now. 3,500 videos. Help me out. Thank you again for everything. It's a real joy having you guys here with me. I love all the comments. I, I, I just have a wonderful time with you guys. So thank you for everything. Um, yeah, and we'll talk to you later. This is the aftermath. Tomorrow will be the time lapse. And the following day will be today's skiing video. You guys are gonna love the skiing video, guys. It's epic. I did so good. I skied down from the top a few times. You guys are gonna be really proud of me. But anyway, we're back on Big Red Boulevard. Just real quick, the last two things I'm gonna point out real quick is here's Get Boards right here, their snowboard shop, one block from the village on Big Red Boulevard. And here's their ski shop, two blocks from the village on Big Red Boulevard, right on the corner. All right, guys. Again, take care. Have a beautiful rest of your day. We'll see you soon. Bye.